I placed a lot of for, for a major part of my life, and I very um, sincerely did this. I placed my identity and my self worth in my performance, my ability to do the things that God had gifted me to do. And so I felt like, you know, I bring nothing to the table unless I'm the best at this. And so music was one of those things. And I felt like uh, there was a time in my life I thought, man, I, I can't imagine living without music. I'd rather be dead. And, you know, God's brought me a long way, Tony, because music has sat on the back burner for a while now. And that's that might be another conversation to have with you privately, because I think that maybe we need to stir that back up again. But I'm grateful for that season where God walked me through something where I had to set it down. And, and the reason I say this is because my worship went to another place. And in the sense that when I had to crash into my humanity, when I had to come to the end of my rope, so to speak, with Brenda, with my performances, with my abilities, with uh, my doings, and say, God, I'm a helpless, hopeless human being who needs you. And to realize that it was on that horizon that Jesus met me. He became the hope on my horizon. And he showed me who I was. There's a scripture that I absolutely love and I quote it all the time. And it's, it's from 2 Corinthians in the third chapter. And it talks about how that we stand before the mirror of his glory. And that's where we are. We come to him with our face unveiled. And so that speaks to me, to the uh, issues of projecting an image, you know, the, the masks that we wear, the performance we like to others to see and not really come. I don't want to invite them into my vulnerability or into the place that I don't even like myself, right? And so in this place, we have to come first to God in that place where, you know, the place that I don't even want to go visit myself, it's much too painful, but we allow God to his presence to come in. And in, it's in the glory of God that we're able to see the mirror of who we truly are. And we see ourselves as loved, as accepted, as enough for him to count us valuable enough to die for us, but that he is the one who completes us and he's my healer. And so in that, I find Brenda. I find out who I am. And so it was from there that God took me to a much deeper place.